Hey, good morning. Welcome to Working Horses with Jim. I'm Brenda, Jim's wife, and we are today down at Paul Smith College um, on their land where Jim is, has started a log job. He and the horses are, are headed our way, and uh, it is some kind of beautiful. The drive down here this morning was just glorious. It, it, the leaves are so beautiful. Um, Jim has Lady and Bill, our Belgian team, this morning. And if you're new to the channel, what we try to share is what Jim does with the horses, our life with the horses. So Jim has been working with horses almost all of his life in some capacity. And um, he just wants to share what horses are capable of doing and how he works with horses. So we have this Belgian team, Lady and Bill. Lady is with foal. Um, we have a Percheron team, and we also have three young Suffolk punch horses. Jim was saying to me the other day, uh, this job right now is a challenge because it's much wetter than he thought it was gonna be. And, um, it's quite a steep uphill to get to the landing, but I was really impressed with how much he got out for one day. Like, I'm impressed. Well, it was actually more like a day and a few hours, you know, because I did start and get my start on the other day. Yeah, but the, the day was not a full, full day, was it? No, neither was neither days. Yeah, so good job, Jim, and the horses. So, um, this job is not going quite as planned. Um, we're having a few issues that we've got to deal with. Um, I, uh, but I'm going to talk more about that as we go back down in with the hitch. Um, let me just get unhitched here, and then we'll head back down in, and we'll talk more about it as we as we go. I ended up using tongs on one log this morning, and this is my first hitch out this morning. And the other one, I used the chain. I prefer using the chain quite often. I'll use the tongs to get hitched on if I need to, but then I'll put a chain on, but I just didn't bother putting the chain on there. Um, I just came out like this. G over here, G. Now this hitch right here, G, is a hitch that size that I would haul a lot under normal conditions. But, but because of what's going on on this job, that even was ho. Too much of a hitch. Um, as I got up to the more flatter ground, it was no problem at all. Um, and my horses are pretty good pullers, but down lower, and I'll explain it as we get down there, um, there's definitely some issues. But let's just scale this up and see what we do have on this hitch. So this is a 16 foot log, and I've shown this before, my scale stick. This is a 16 foot log. This is a small end. So I have to go inside the bark and it is a hundred and probably a hundred and seventy board feet. So there's 170 there. And this is the small end. This is a 14 foot log. So I'm going to the narrow side here. It's 150 there and it's one, it's kind of an oblong log. So this is a little bit farther. So that's about 160 or 70. So we'll call that 160 board feet there. What did I say on this one? 150? I don't remember. I was... So 160 and 160 and yeah, 150. So uh, 310 board feet on that hitch there. Now that would be a normal hitch for me, but because of where I came from down this hill, it was actually too much. And But quite often, my very first hitch of the day, I will take a bigger hitch, especially this is Monday morning. Um, to get the energy out of them, um, you know, take one hitch like this, and then after that, they work so much better. But from here in, I'm going to just average probably 170 board feet per per hitch. So, you know, between 150 and 200 board feet per hitch to come up this hill. A lot of things are going to change, are going to have to change as we continue on this job, though. So let's go down and we'll talk more as we go. So this job, I want to tell you a little bit more about this job. This job is all pine, and it's more than a quarter mile just down to where the pine starts that are marked, and then 
from there, it's still a, quite a ways to the end of the, of the jump. Um, so it's a fairly long skid for horses. On Saturday, like I said, this is Monday. On Saturday, I came up and I have my dray that I showed you in the other video. And I thought that would work great on this job. And when I first started, there really wasn't any mud and I didn't know it'd be mud, but it's turned into quite a lot of mud. When horses are skidding logs in muddy ground and we have not even got to the muddy ground yet, but when, when they're skidding on muddy ground, the log actually slides a little bit easier. But when horses are sinking into mud several inches, it's, it's hard, it's hard work to just walk through the mud, say nothing about pulling a log. So because of that, the mud is really causing us some issues. I had planned on using the dray, which would have put the, the log mo a big share of the weight on the tires, and it would have and should have pulled a lot easier. Well, on Saturday morning, I went to do that, and I should have put a video of that on. I had hitched onto this big log that was a downed log, and I actually have it in the landing, and I'll show it to you. It had quite a bit of red rod in it, but being down, Possibly, I never thought about it until recently, possibly it's, it was fairly dry and yet with the rain that we've got, it's got water soaked. So it was actually heavier even than um, a, a regular log would have been. But anyways, I went to, I had 33 feet of this particular log, skidded out to the roadway, and I thought I could hitch, take the skid steer, pick the end of the log up and set it on my dry. Well, <laughs> the skid steer wouldn't lift it up. I got it a few inches, well, actually I got it a foot and a half off the ground, and that's as high as it would lift. So I ended up having to cut the log and down to two 16-footers, and so I just took one 16-footer and I was able to put it onto the, to the dray, all right. But as I pulled it out, I felt like it was pulling just as hard as my logs that were just skidding on the ground. So because of the extra troubles of chaining on the log onto the dray and and the fact that the skid steer could hardly lift these big logs up, I said, forget that. And I just unhitched and I just started skidding logs. And that worked fine. The problem is, as you can see, even now, we're coming into this mud. Now, this is a, a kind of an interesting thing because as I'm walking through this mud, this is pretty well as muddy as it's going to get with horses. But if you were to take a skidder and or a tractor down through here, in a very short period of time, you'd have some serious ruts. I also <laughs> had decided later in, in the day to bring my skid steer back up, and it was all I could do to get up through this mud with my skid steer. Usually, I have, as we get into winter, I put chains on the skid steer, which I have not put on yet. And boy, I, I didn't know if I'd even make it up out of here with my skid steer. But anyways, um, that's when I decided I've got to do something different. So I have decided I'm going to have to bring my excavator in, down in here and bring my wagon, my logging wagon here. That way all the logs will be on the wagon and this hill, which is fairly decent hill, all uphill for a long ways, it would work so much better with the wagon. The problem is with this mud, even the wagon will tow really hard because the wagon wheels being heavy with load are going to sink in more than just skidding logs. So what I'm hoping is going to happen, is several options that we have. The forester had said up above the landing, there's a bunch of trees we're going to cut also and mark. So I'm hoping that he'll just cut those now and I can be working on that until it freezes up. We still have several more weeks before we have freeze up. And so to deal with this, it's just not good. Also, I think Thursday they come for a half an inch of rain. Well. This saturated piece is just going to be so much worse. And so I, I, I'm going to have to pull out. I would, I'm going to work today because it's, a, it's Columbus Day and the force is not here. So I can't even talk to him yet about the, these thoughts that I'm having. But hopefully that'll work. If it doesn't work and he's not able to mark trees elsewhere, I'm probably going to have to pull out of here. Because I just can't move that much wood from this distance with this mud. Now, if you ha if you r ran equipment like a skidder instead of horses, uh -huh. would you be able to keep logging in here? Um, could I log? Yes. Would I be able to? No, absolutely not, because the school would shut you down because and and 
anybody should shut it down because you'd end up with pretty big ruts right through there. And this is the time of year where we get more and more rain. So until things freeze up, it's just not a job that's going to work out. Not down here. Anyway. Uh, here we are coming into the tree that I'm going to hitch onto now. Oh. I'd cut the butt log is up there and I'd cut that tree right across my trail. These pines have very little limbs until you get to the top, at least a lot of them. So I can put them right across the trail without making a mess. Um, so what I did is I took the two logs that were in the center there and I've got a, the butt log there and the top log there. And so I'm just going to hitch on the butt log Pull that out of ways, and then I'm going to cut a tree. The cap stuff. Cap. Ha. Ah, but. Oop. Ma. Ha. Ha. Oop. Ma. 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 Oh. Okay, here's the log that is pretty tight to the ground and oh, I can get a chain on it. If I couldn't have got a chain on, this is where I would just use my log and tongs, but I can feel underneath it so I can get the chain on, which is what I prefer anyways. So I'll pull ahead and then we'll cut a tree. Hoop, hoop. Nice out. Oh. oh, oh, so as you can see, it's oh, it's a pretty steep little spot right here. This is not as steep as the regular trail is. I mean, I mean, this is steeper than the regular trail, so um, we can't pull huge hitches up over here, of course. That cap is down. Oh. I stopped here, not that I needed to, but I just wanted to show how much tremendous strength it takes on these horses to pull even a log this size. This log here is a 16 feet long, and I would say it's probably 200 board feet in it. It's not a huge log by any means. The next tree that I'm going to be cutting down is quite a bit bigger. But uh, if you just watch Lady and her legs, when she's pulling, step up there a little bit further, Brenda. Um, it's just amazing the power it takes to move these logs. I cap this out. But they're such good pullers. They do do it quite easy. Oh. So I'll let them stand right here. And I'll swing over here and just tie my lines around this tree. Probably wouldn't need to, but safety first. And when I'm going to be a ways away, it's just better to know that they're not going anywhere. So let's not go down and actually, I know I got this tree all notched and ready to go. Let's, let's put it down. Okay, I want to just explain a few things. I have this tree right here and it's marked. And the reason the forester marked it, I'm going to let him share at some point in some future video. I don't really know. So I have it notched here. So that means this tree is hopefully going to be dropping right between that section right there. 
and it's in a clear path for that tree to go. Um, I have been doing, for several years now, I've been using more of the bore cut, which is a, a common way to cut trees. So what I do is I cut, and I've already done it, I've, I cut through this side here without, without cutting the back. And then I came over here and cut this side without cutting the back. So everything's cut except for right here. So now I have a wedge in there. Um, I could have put a wedge on this side also, but I'm pretty confident the tree's gonna fall right down. And so I am going to just cut this off and that tree should fall right in that hole. We hope. So there you have it, a successful cut. Everything went as planned. And as, I don't know if you noticed, but as, as the tree was going down and even after it was already landed, you have to really be careful and look up and make sure all the branches have fallen down that are going to fall down. And you saw some branches probably even fall down when it was coming down. And so there's a pretty good risk on that if you jump in there too fast. So I always like to just let set for a while and look up, make sure everything's no big branches still stuck in trees up above. And there isn't that I can see. And so I can limb this up and go. This is a pretty good sized tree. It is. Um, so. I'm surprised how that's still moving up there. And there is a broken part on, there's a broken branch up there. Just shy of 36 inches. Actually, the one way it's about 38 inches in diameter. So I'll clean up this butt a little bit and I will plan on taking a 16 foot log. And if you look behind us, that's the trail we're gonna go. It's a pretty steep grade. So um, yeah, it takes some powerful horses to move this wood. I'm sorry. He's gonna clean up this butt a little bit. What does she come up to with next? Here's just a small log and I'm going to put underneath the tree so that when it drops down, I'm still going to be able to get a chain on it. Okay. Yikes, that is a big piece of wood. That's a big piece of wood. They're going to pull that with the other one? No, 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 no. All by this will all be. Oh yeah, you're going to take that other one yeah. out first. Uh, yeah. Okay. 
Okay, I decided that I'm going to actually pull ahead of the ways so this is in the air and unhitch this log. Um, when you have a big hitch like the tree I just caught, you need to do it kind of early in the morning when they're still fresh. As the day progresses, they keep hauling more and more logs. They get tired and tired, like, like anybody would, anything. Um, so I'm going to unhitch from this log, go down and get that big butt log up to the top of the hill, which is right above me just a little ways now. And I'll probably just unhitch from there even. And I may not even take that one out today. I may just let that sit for tomorrow morning and I'll haul it out because the other trees that I have to cut, I got one here and I got one there and I got two over there. They're smaller trees, so they won't be a problem to go up through the mud with. Whereas the big butt log there, um, there's quite a lot of footage and when I pull it up here, I will measure it to know how much footage is actually there. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. When you're using horses, you've got to take advantage of their, you know, you know, know when to rest them to get plenty of work out of them. I've kept a step. Oh. Lap you. I could leave this chain right hitched to this, but I might need this chain because I might have to do what we call a cradle hitch on that big butt log. G over here. G, 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 careful, G, 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 Oh, as I'm coming up this hill, simple things like that stump and those smaller stumps off the side are something I really have to be careful of and be ready, be prepared for, because if that log, anything that log hits as it comes up the hill or anywhere for that matter, it's just more resistance on that log. So it's gonna make it harder to pull. And when you're pulling up a pretty steep hill like this, those are things you really have to consider. I kept up. Yep, ha, ha, careful, ha, careful, ha, careful, careful, ha, ha, careful, ha, ha, yep, ha, 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 yep, ha, 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 oh, bye, oh, bye, hey, bye, 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 stop you, stop you. Oh, so this log, log job oh, was last logged off with some huge skitters. And so one of the biggest things I have to be concerned about in this log job is stumps. There are stumps in here that they cut and they didn't cut them really that low to the ground, although that's not that high. But I can't straddle this. I can't, I gotta be careful with these stumps. Um, there are big trails all throughout here. You can see right down through there is a trail and it's, it's nice in a lot of ways, but um, a lot of ways it just makes a little bit different way to log um, that I'm used to. So I have to continually be watching out for these stumps um, that are in the middle of the trail. Okay, here's a tree that is a little bit of trouble. I can see right to start with. Um, when you're skidding with a cart like this, I feel that it's best to hitch onto the butt end. Years ago, my father would always tell me to hitch on to the small end because that pulls easier from the small end. But that's when he was thinking a single horse on a loose whipple tree. Um, because when you pull from the small end, it tends to lift up a little bit. With the cart, it tends to lift up right to start with anyways. So it's almost better to, I, I feel it's better to hitch on the butt end to get more of the weight off the ground. Um, that's my opinion. Uh, you may not agree with me, but uh, that is what I believe. And this is going to be a hard log to get going because I can't get a chain underneath it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is 
hopefully, put a rolling hitch on it. And I also want to have a cradle hitch on this also, which is gonna be even harder to do unless I can get a chain underneath that. But it came down pretty hard. Oh lady, as you can see, lady knows we have a big hitch, I think, and she's getting a little anxious, which is pretty normal for her. Sometimes it's way better to take a little extra time and get it the way you want it and to push it and not have it the way you want it. And I'd love to get a chain on this tree. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Oh, girls. Oh, girl. Lady, bye. So I'm going to try a rolling hitch. And I may, I should be able to get it at a rolling hitch. But. It's not gonna set me up really the way I want it. So no matter how I do it, it's gonna take some finagling, as I call it. It's not all the way around the bottom. You I know. know. That. Obviously, you know it's not all the way around the bottom. That's the issue. It just looks different from this angle. Uh, my chains. 12 feet long so even though that chain is not all the way around I expect that I can easily pull it at a slight angle and roll it just a little bit which is what I want. Oh, lady. Oh, lady. In the process of roll, oh. in the process of rolling that, and before I roll that, because I'm going to do a cradle hitch, I want my second chain, oh, down, oh, and ready to be rolled under. So I'm going to lay. Whoops, that's the wrong end. I'm gonna lay this one like this so that it'll get rolled under. So I wanna go just a little ways and stop them. Hoop, G, hoop, G. G, G, G. Oh, little bit, little bit, little bit. Oh. Back up here, back. Back up here, oh. Oh, okay. It's so important that they don't go too far. If they did, they would mess everything up, but they did not. So, oh lady, ho. Oh. So I have two chains, one going one way and one going the other way. So, what I'm gonna do, this might be a little confusing everybody. I'll try to explain it though. What I want is the hook in a certain spot here. So what I'm going to do is slide this one since I can way down there and I have a grab hook on each end here. So now, this chain will be coming from the outsides.
So we're hitched on both chains. Now I'm gonna ask him to go a little ways, not very far, because I got a lot of rehitching to do to get this chain on properly. Ho! Oh. Ho! Oh. That couple's down. Ha! Ha! Ho! Oh. Ah. Ho! Oh. Okay, now, I know this is taking a long time to do, but it's crucial to be able to get this log up this hill. I am very pleased with this team and the amount of power that they have. But every team comes to a limit, limit on how much power they have. Oh, oh, back, back up here. Back up here. Ah, ah. Lady, back up. Back up here. Ah. Back. Oh. back up here. Can't wait reach it. Ah. Oh. 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 So I want my hooks down low on both sides, and they are. So now I'm gonna go a little ways. It's set up pretty good the way I have it right here. Although I want both chains approximately the same. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, and we'll take a little ways, ho, and then shorten it up. Ho, 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 ho. Lady, ho, back up here. He's quite ready to go. Back up here. Back up here. Okay. Our couple's down. So join us next time to see if Lady and Bill can get this big old log up to the landing. You guys have a great day.